The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antimap told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? It's cooled down. Actually, it's right in front of me. even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway. Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. On the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you want. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, uh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely... Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I figured it out, partially at least. 
The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensorial malfunction before the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns the long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Cargo Bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. And the whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession. Do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here, far longer than that of human. Also very different and dead. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. 
What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source. And so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first. Powerful emitters in the center, similar to those on Anagobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Anagobot. Well, look carefully. Anagobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. No, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, huh? Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. The registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little probey. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you, too? 
I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. That's just the following. This transport is actually working. It doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. It will take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers, the powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the corpse. But first, you know the robots, turning off the force field and transport. Archie. Okay? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Problem. Disabled. Help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. Jasper, what are you wondering about? What if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flying. <laughs> and you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be so sure? We were clueless just a moment ago. We've only just begun to understand what's going on. But you already know how to handle it. Jasna, I promise you we'll analyze everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. them, nothing more.
wonder if I knew that. Damn curiosity. I, I don't know if I should interrupt your uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. This, this is too much. <sighs> I'll ask you how many times I. <sighs> it's not like I'm looking for problems where there aren't any. The task is extremely difficult. Yes. It is. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived and they already started their research into a cure. I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base. And I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Jasper. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit. A green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a confused lung begins. But at least... I'm alive. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then, damaged a radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy? Yes.
Yes, huh? Everything's all right? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. to this fallen balloon. Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The fallen balloon of Regis. Yes, exactly. I found the recorder. The fallen recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The twenty fifth. Day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Ah. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. They've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. They captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait! You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man! So he's real after all. Yes. I I'm not crazy. I saw him. I never suggested you were. Then nevertheless, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Jasper. But where is this man now? Can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. Then we need to go back, I guess.
water. Decades of space travel have been still the same. People can be more dangerous and distant than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. So why do you see still seeing them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what is recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. on so much. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. Uh, don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Right. Let's meet this probe. I'll bring it to the ground. Thank <laughs> you. 
one step at a time, Yasna. One step at a time. seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. So tired, yes, ma'am. Because I am tired, Astrogator. Ha! Got it down. slides. Oh wow, the cloud in all its glory, both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. People don't stand a chance. The cloud caught up to them and killed... No. Not that. I didn't kill anyone, but neutralize them all. Which is even worse than death. That probe managed to evacuate. Waited still until I approached it. We know what happened after. days in this base, and still not discovered their hideout. Patterns right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off the track. I have to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route? This 
This way seems to be the only one. do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. The climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. That's it, it's within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. How? <gasps> what? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep. Yes, now what is it? Why is it too late? He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen. I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. I said get up. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What happened? Just keep your mouth shut. For your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his feelings. To unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. You don't shoot at people. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. Oh, that has to be the way. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling on about? A death wish. Only the short answer to the now on. I'll ask the question, and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or so come. Maybe it works. Do you understand? Uh... Do as you see fit. I'll help as best I can. Is there anyone else? Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear some of the Where 
Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Get in. Go. Sit here. Don't dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. to see you guys too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on. Eat. Like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. The whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. We objected so much.
tell you what's gonna happen to you. Lendor, comrade. Don't be fooled. She's not our friend. You don't know who I am. And you don't listen. She's lying too. Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos, hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. you're doing uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably yeah sure better get comfortable with discomfort we'll sit around for a while so what's now shall we keep quiet while admiring the ceiling so far you're not very good at being quiet let alone keeping it up well I heard you broadcasting Rahitra you have no idea what to do with me do you <clears throat> Gag you for a start. You've been camping here long. Are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. You named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm, seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Uh, wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah. So? It doesn't make any sense. Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Did you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. No way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. I 
I'm sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. Huh. Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rahitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The astrogator stays in the orbiting dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set out for Milos to Condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. I'm telling you this for the last time. I didn't lie. All right, all right. Let's change the subject. the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local. But... Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. No thanks. I see. So all in all, we don't trust each other. I know what caused it, and how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind, wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? I could, if you released me. Nice try. We'll do as follows. Mark 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted, I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes, guard our guest. Oh, great. <sighs> I'm near their hideout, though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There? Have you met Spluskas and Lendl? Yet. How do you know their names? I've been in sight of the Alliance since we came to Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. We'll see. The yeah, other uh, I have to ask. <laughs> what happened in the last few hours? That man. I talked to Rahitra for quite some time. Then he had an Octan guard me, but 
Its algorithm is pretty easy to trick. What do you make of this man? What kind of person? He wasn't very pleasant to deal with. But that's understandable, given the circumstances. He's lost, angry, scared. It's a shame I failed to win him over. We need a new plan. Huh, yeah. It seems so. Although I could use some rest. Oh, it was a rough day. A night. A rough couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor. We'll have to get away from here first. I think I know where to go. There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the invincible lamp is. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here. On this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? Seems we will return up right there. We don't have a better plan. I want to go there. The condom? Yes. Their scientists had the equipment and time that we don't have. They could have discovered something important. Unless they flew away. All right. Do as you say, Doctor. Trust your judgment. Rover. Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. And that'll rob that alliance prick, huh? What exists? What can exist?
quite what I meant, but yeah, I probably should. beautiful view. An hour seems like a minute, but a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Sometimes. place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Uh. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. There's several oxens here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile. Compares to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Hey, Lass, I hope you're still within reach. Listen, the Commonwealth is 
track. Although, boulders are blocking the way, so even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. They're here. It's standing still in front of the force field. Is that Milos convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, most likely. Can you see it? There's someone inside. More than one. Two. They're all in transport. Give yourself the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. <clears throat> Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. They must be in the back. Oh, the door won't budge. Power's off. Moment of truth. It's 
on. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors have... Wait! The back door opened. Grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness, with no chance of understanding what's going on. So you have to see that. The number of registers 428. Playing in broadcast mode. No. It started automatically. Far too long Hello. not to receive Condor. help from Condor. This is real history speaking. Right. Nobody will come. Time, eight, I'm afraid there's not a soul here. I'm returning on this damned planet. Space, except right? for the three I in the cave. Yes, no Let's skip this to the rest of the We're waiting. Can you stop them? No way. I'm not going back there. Over now. That's I can do. Ah, much better. Someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's for Hydra? Who else could it be? Did he realize I ran away? No. The door passed away the message. He's here. Oh. It means he just started a new cycle. He fell asleep and forgot what happened the whole day. And once again, he will wake up on the 26th day of the mission. Hello, sorry. Don't joke about it. If I don't snap him out of this cycle, I'll keep repeating it until he dies. I see the hill. I'll be there in a minute. You won't this time as well. In any case, let's not worry in advance. I haven't located him yet. What about all those machines on here?
I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. Critical situation. You don't need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Rahitra. What? How do you... Uh, I'll tell you everything. Just shut up for a moment and listen. I will not. Rahitra, for fuck's sake. Do it for Spluskus and Lendor. <laughs> you think it's the 26th day of the mission. Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? H how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The microbot cloud has wiped all traces of your comrade's memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro what cloud? That's bullshit! I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rahitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. Look at yourself. Look at Spluskus and Lendor. Did you all have beards yesterday? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra. I know you won't shoot me. Fuck! How long? How long have I been here? Four hundred and twenty-eight days. At least. That's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This, this... this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms. Our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. it damages our brains, our robots, and, and all machinery. Right now. Copy that. What's going on? Who are you talking to? This is a topic for another time. The cloud will be here soon. Quick, lead to the hideout. Move! Could it get through the force fields? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. I don't 
think so. He's already up in the field. Hey! Uh, you. What's your name, anyway? Yasna. I'm... Uh, whatever. You know already. What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh... Thought so. Here, take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Hey, over. Copy that. I don't see it.
with you? Fuck! You've got to be kidding! Stay in touch, yeah? Cyclops somewhere is... It's like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasta. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away. Or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Somehow it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down. Which should be soon. I wasn't responding. Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. 